So Prince William's calls of him raging and screaming on the phone. A night of betrayal is what the mirror is masking this story. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back it again with another Royal Nugget. At this point, I'm a Royal fanatic. Uh, do subscribe, comment down below. Let's get to 340,000 subscribers. Let's do this. It's just one click and I would really appreciate it. And let's get straight into this video. Prince William has reacted with anger after a severe family betrayal took place when he was much younger and it devastated his mother, Diana, according to Royal experts that the mirror is reporting. Robert Lacey wrote about a pivotal moment in William's teenage years following his parents' highly publicised split. When Diana gave an explosive interview to Martin Bashir, in which she spoke about Charles' relationship with Camilla, stating that there had been three of us in the marriage, William watched the programme alone in his study at Eton. But it wasn't his mother's remarks about Camilla that tipped him over the edge, rather her confession that she'd fallen in love with James Hewitt. Lacey wrote in his book that Diana spoke of betrayal, and that was exactly what William felt. Their mother had clearly seen how upset both her sons had been. Charles had confessed his intimacy with Camilla on TV, yet here she was doing the very same thing. William's housemaster returned to the study a short time later and found the, um, the prince slumped into tears. An hour later, Diana called, but he refused. He had broken out in one of the most notorious rages that would from time to time scar his teenage years and young adult life that nobody has ever really seen when it comes to his temper. All hell broke loose. William was furious that she had spoken badly of his father, that she had mentioned Hewitt. He started shouting and crying, and when she tried to put her arms around him, he absolutely refused and pushed Dinah away. The next day, William apologised to his mother for his very bad temper and presented her with a bunch of flowers. But Dinah felt some irretrievable damage had been done. What have I done? She kept asking. What have I done to my children? What have I done to my children in this long-term emotional damage her bitter public feud had inflicted on their sons? Harry was also upset with the huge revelations but did not show the same level of temper that William did because it fed into the narrative that Harry was not the son of Charles and people would always make jokes that he wasn't, some form of sadism that he didn't like when it came to the tabloids because they loved the idea that Prince Charles' youngest son was not Prince Charles' son. They never got tired of that joke when it came to Harry. So, you know, I don't know where this has come from, but clearly the right, the raging angry man child hasn't changed since his teen years. I wonder how Kate Middleton is doing. Somebody comments as, a, as of 17 minutes ago. So this has come out. Somebody has it out for William when it comes to the press, when it comes to this specifically, because we know the press love him. They have a weird toxic relationship to him as if they owe him something is how the press is when it comes to Prince William. But, you know, this is just giving us a glimpse into the actuality of his childhood that was filled with rage and temper that has only gotten even worse. Whenever it comes to anything negative about William, it always coincides with one thing. One theme, anger, rage, you know, fury, temper problems, screaming, the fact that he would push his mother away, refuse to speak, in tears, shouting on the phone. And of course, this was him at the age of 14, 15, you know, as when he was a minor. So that, of course, angst only got worse as he got older, which is why it explains why he has beef with Harry, why, you know, he is in some form of competition with Charles, why things go whatever way that he wants them to go, why, you know, I would assume that there are issues with him and Kate and in my opinion DV claims of course that's all alleged but that is what I definitely believe. I do believe that somebody's temper that has only gotten worse since childhood to now which has been reported it went from this to him putting his hands on his brother physically as well all of that I would not put it past him for putting his hands on his wife I absolutely whether it's a shove a push a hair pull something to say I'm in charge I want to do whatever I want to do when you have that anger inside you as a young teenager and it's not resolved and you're around so many situations even some stuff that is traumatic and you're filled around people that are yes men that fill in your ego it's only going to get worse which is why he put his hands on Harry as what Harry has stated barely talks to his father well they have beef here and there in competition at this point from what Ermund Scobie's book said and of course issues with Kate Middleton barely there for her during the cancel plight from what we've seen and again I'm saying it not as fact because it's not a matter of fact but I genuinely believe allegedly that he would put his hands on her if things went wrong if things didn't go the way he wanted for any minute here and there which is why when it came to the children and where they wanted to go for schools the reports would always say when it came to the UK press that she would lose. She never would get away. Only recently she went to Wimbledon, but with William's permission, where he was running around bars, running around to the Euros in Berlin to watch England lose. That's what he was running around to do whilst his wife was meant to be given permission. Control, ego, rage, temper. It's linear with this man, coincidental, the reoccurring theme. Whoever put this article out has something against William, but it's from notorious rages. That's what they're describing it as, rages. At that age to now, 
it's a pattern. I don't know, I wanted to just speak on this because I feel like we look at William in a different angle, um, a different glimpse in regards to the raging that he did when it came to Diana. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And I will catch you guys soon for another video. Let's get to 340,000 subscribers. I would appreciate it. Do subscribe, comment down below, send us super things if you guys wish to. There's a dollar sign there and you can send whatever you want. They go a long way. I'll catch you guys soon.